Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this complex equation. Firstly, I'm going to let x to the power 4 be equal to w, where w is equal to i. More precisely, we have 0 plus 1 i, which is in the form of rectangular. And I'm going to rewrite as a polar form, which in the form of r cis theta, where r is the modulus. So we should have square root of x square plus y square. And now we should have square root of 1, which is equal to 1. And for theta is the argument, which is tangent y divided by x. If let's say we do in this convention matter, we will realize that we obtain 1 over 0, which is math error, and we couldn't solve this. So instead of using this convention method, we can actually make use of the Cartesian plane. So draw two lines, and we have 0 for x and 1 for y, which is positive. In order to fulfill this condition, we must have this line so in other words this is 90 degree since this is 0 degree 90 degree and 180 degree in other words theta is equal to 90 degree and hence we can conclude that our cis theta is simply 1 times cis 90 degree since z to the power 4 is equal to w and w is equal to cis 90 degree in other words we know that z is equal to cis 90 degree to the power of 1 over 4 by using the de Morvis law we know that we should have four roots and the first root is equal to cis 90 degree should be divided by 4 so we have 90 degree divided by 4 which is equal to 22.5 degree and this is in the form of polar and we should convert back to rectangular form we have cos and sine here cos is for the real part so we have cos 22.5 degree which is equal to approximately 0.92 Four, rounded to the nearest three decimal places and now we shall refer to sine 22.5 degree which is equal to positive 0 0.383 with i since this is imaginary part and we have done for the first read and for the second read we should think logically for any circle where we complete one rotation we should have 360 degree and this is supposed to be shared by four roots so we should take over four take 360 degree divided by four and this is equal to 90 degree in other words the gap in between the roots should have 90 degree so we should have z2 is equal to cis since the gap is 90 degree which means that we should take 22.5 plus 90 degree obtain the degree for the second root, which is 112.5 degree. Therefore, the rectangular form of this root is equal to cos 112.5 for the real part, which is negative 0 0.383. And for the imaginary part, we take sine 112.5. And this is equal to positive 0 0.924. I. And for the third root, similarly, since from one root to the other, we increase 90 degree. So again, we should take 112.5 plus 90 degree, which is equal to 202.5. And we should have cis 202.5 degree. For the real part, again, we take cos. So cos 202.5 is equal to negative. 0 0.924 since this is similar with this one and we should use logic for this case since we have same value understood that for every root they should have exactly the same modulus so the magnitude for the imaginary part must be exactly the same but then should be positive or negative we should think logically this is in the third quadrant sign in the third quadrant is negative so we put negative if let's say we're not sure it doesn't matter we just use back the conventional method so we press sign 202.5 and this is equal to as we can see negative 0 0.382 rounded to the nearest three decimal places and for the last root we have z4 is equal to 
6 again we take 202.5 plus 90 degree and this is equal to we have 292.5 again in order to obtain the real part we take cos so cos 292.5 is equal to 0 0.383 and this is similar with the second root but then we have positive for this case now we shall refer to this angle this is in the fourth quadrant sine in the fourth quadrant definitely is negative so we put negative 0 0.924 if let's say we lazy to press the calculator however of course if let's say we are not sure we can press and check so sine 292.5 as we can see we will definitely obtain the correct value and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you